Right, and here we are again. We're, we're out once again, but we're still on the banks of the Tay, except this side, across the other side of the river. Uh, we're actually at Newport on Tay, uh, actually straight across from uh, Discovery Point where I fished the last time. And again, once again, it's mainly flatfish, sea trout, uh, maybe a eel. Place, maybe dabs, you never know. There's quite a variety about. Well, hopefully, there is. And our bait today is uh, all fish bait as I never got around to digging worms. So, today we're using mackerel, we've got some herring, and we're using blue as well. So, between all three baits, we should come up with something. It is now about an hour and a half before low tide, so. I'll get baited up and get cast out and we'll get fishing. Uh, there's a fair bit of... So, hold on, getting this out of the wind. There's a fair bit of a wind blowing up the river. But it's blown towards the Dundee side, so I'm hoping it stays away from here. It's kind of calm in here, which I'm kind of glad of. Uh, so let's... Let's live and hope catching a few fish and I hope it doesn't get too cold. I don't want to freeze my nuts off out here. But uh, here we go, we'll go and get cast out. Now once I've done that, I'll give you a look around. Uh, some of you may have seen it before, but uh, oh, it's always good to see a place again. Well, I was waiting up and looked down on the beach and I found a trace. Three little fishy things and a little weight on the bottom. So, what anybody was fishing for with these, uh, not a clue. Uh, might have been sea trout, but uh, there you go. <coughs> it's always good to look around when you're down. So let's get cast in and we'll get fish, hopefully. Right, so that's us cast out. Now all we need to do is go and get a coffee and sit and watch all the fishes bite. Uh, Well, there's a nice start. Nice big flounder there. First one, and nice, good one.
Well, I was just away to cast that other one out after just letting the uh, flounder go. And on here, I have uh, a smallish flounder. And also a half decent cod. Hey! So that's a flounder and a cod. Nice twosome. Ah, do we. There are fish here. I know where to get them. I was sure that was a bit more than a flatty. And I were here. Nice seat out. Lovely. So that's three species in ten minutes. That's good going. I said I would give you a look around, so here we go. Uh, this is to the left of where I'm fishing. And a nice muddy bank up there next to a pier that you can't get on as a private pier as you can see it's all rocky down there but about a uh, five yards out from there it just goes into sandy mud it's not a big tide so you won't see that today and that's where I'm fucking just now down there all the gears in here and to the right we've got a rocky patch that actually used to be a pier and there's a lot of rocks further out and that's where I, caught, I just caught the, the cod just off the end of the, the rocks there it's a good place to get out. eels as well they, they like to run about the rocks but in the summer time it's a good place to lose bait as well and crabs are happy and if they turn more to the right, see it's just rocky but uh, as I say, not far out from the rocks it's, uh, it's mud banks I've never fished off of that, that point yet always wanted to give it a try just to, just to see but I've never done it yet and once the tide comes up to the wall here I'll be coming up and fishing just off the off of here. So yeah. And over by the railway bridge there you can see Wormit in the background. In the rail bridge. And Dundee right across the water there. And across from us is a discovery where I was fishing the last time I made a video. So I thought I'd come over here. But mainly because the wind is blowing right up against that uh, right up against Dundee and uh, it's kind of strong so I thought I'll come over here I know it's a bit uh, less windy got all the buildings at the back protecting you from the wind and to the side you've got the rocks and more buildings so it's a nice way hideaway you probably feel a bit of hearing a bit of wind in there but uh, yes so basically this is where I'm fishing Newport on Tay
Well, there we go. There's another little flounder. Next one. We're doing well for uh, since we started. Well, that's uh, that's low tide now, and so far we've had uh, three flounders, one cod, a nice cod, and one decent sea trout as well. Uh, most of them caught in a ten minutes rush. But, uh, last fish caught about two minutes before I uh, before I uh, put this on again. So, with that kind of a start, I can live and hope that it keeps up. Hopefully, with the tide on the turn, I get a good few more fish. So, keep at it and see if what comes up. Well, here we go. The smaller side of flounder fishing. <laughs> nice. Well, here we go again with another reasonable fly. Nice little flounder. Yes. Another run of the mill flounder. Another nice wee size. <laughs> Getting good. Want to come in? There we go. Another little trout. Lovely. Okay, there we go, 
another fish fly. Another flounder, I think. That's smooth. <coughs> another little flounder. Yeah. There we go. Ah. I'm going to fall on my butt. There we go, another flounder. At least they're half decent sizes. Right. So that's, that's half tied. Uh, so far I can make it about eight flounders, one cod and two sea trout. Which isn't too bad. Uh, but as, as I said when I caught the other fish, the temperature has dropped. The wind has too, actually. The sun's gone down. But I can see mist in the distance coming in, so I think it's going to be a pretty cold night. And one of my torches that I've got with me, uh, I didn't charge it up. So I hope it can still operate. I've got a wee light on the front of this, but uh, it works better when it's really dark. Not to worry, we'll keep on fishing until I run out of coffee or get too cold or the fish give up. <laughs> but they uh, still, still getting knocks, so the fish are still there. So we'll keep at it. Oh well, there's a, a duo. What is that? That that being a small cod. And that being a small flounder. Oh well. Still fish out there. There we go. Another little flounder. Nice. Well, that's about an a still about an hour to high tide. But for the past wee while there's been nothing happening. It's been dead. Since it got dark. So I'm gonna call it a night. But uh, I've had ten flounders, two cod, well, we codlin, and a uh, two sea trout. So all in all, it's been not too bad. Uh, I was expecting a bit more in the flounder front, but uh, you can't get everything. And it's been a been a good day out. At least over this side, I was out with the wind for a bit, and then the wind started changing direction, and 
it died off, but uh, it suddenly got cold. It's still a bit misty out there, so yeah. All in all, nice day. So I hope you enjoy the video and uh, hopefully be somewhere else the next time. So see you all later.